family here okay okay yes and if you aren't new and you've been here thank you so much for coming back y'all thank you so so much please don't forget to like and comment and don't forget to check out the description box because my link for my profile are right down there my social media you know you know but guys thank you so much um today as you can see with the video we are going to be doing another mukbang and i will be answering questions i actually received questions this time around guys last time it didn't work out i didn't receive questions so i didn't film but this time i received questions and i was like let's get it let's go you know you know but anyway guys, before we do get into this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to check out the description box because there's information there, you know? There's information there. And also, please don't forget to switch on your post notifications so that you are notified every single time you go post a video. Alright, alright. But anyway, let's get into this video. <laughs> so guys, as you guys can see, today I will be having some Sonic some sonic so uh what i ordered from sonic is a medium sprite which is right here it's almost spilling out like why but anyway i've got a medium sprite no ice i've got a slush red bull um and something apricot oh strawberry apricot a slash red bull and a strawberry apricot i really like red bull so i was just like let me try this drink out so i have my two drinks here i also have water i didn't order the water this is from the fridge downstairs in the kitchen uh and then i have uh ugh, i ordered some tater tots here they go ordered some tater tots this was just delivered i ordered it from uber eats i got myself some fries because i can't just be trusting the tater tots i love sonic fries some people wouldn't agree but i i like them i like them especially when they're hot oh and i got myself a super sonic double cheeseburger and no tomatoes that's on period i don't eat I don't like tomatoes if they're not cooked, you know, if they are not cooked. I don't want it. And serviettes. So we are going to be eating. We are going to be tasting. Because I'm having Sonic uh, for the third time. I'm having Sonic the third time. The first time I had Sonic, I was like, this is so good. I love it. Uh, and I was like, maybe I should try it again when I'm not hungry to see if I like it. And I did, and I was like, this is actually good. This is better than McDonald's. That McDonald's I had last week was, like, was just trash. I'm sorry, McDonald's, but mm -mm -mm. no. So here the burger go. Ay! 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 Some Sonic fries and tater tots where is this going like where are you going where where are you going i'm gonna put this here it's, oh by the way i'm wearing a hoodie by the band the band imagine by the brand zaga zaga and if you guys really want to buy these hoodies they do have hoodies sweaters t-shirts caps um 
suede pants as well and if you guys want to check them out i'll have the link in the description box down below and i'm hungry so let's get into this so as per usual let's start with the sprites i want to taste if this i ordered sprites because i wanted to make sure i wanted to taste if the sprite tastes the same from mcdonald's Yeah, it's Sprite. This one tastes better than the McDonald's one. I don't know how, but it does. Ugh, the slushy. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. That's good. That's very nice. I do recommend. I like this. I like it. Um, so I usually don't eat um, fries with with uh, ketchup tomato sauce. I just don't like it. But I'm gonna try it out the tater tot out with tomato sauce, tomato ketchup. Guys, really, yeah, should not be hands. Yeah, should not be hands. Hands, hands, whatever. Where did that company go? I actually like their noodles more than I like Maggie. Where did they go? But anyway, let's eat this. Mm. I put myself on. Uh, imagine. It tastes like hash browns, but made into small balls. Okay, these aren't even balls, but made into these. It tastes like hash browns. It tastes like crispy fries. Mm. Definitely, I would order this again. <laughs> Guys, there's something about Sonic fries. Although these things are made the same, they taste not made the same. Although these things come from the same vegetable, they definitely taste different. Sonic fries, I feel like, are probably underrated because these fries are good. These fries are good. Mm -hmm. The bagger. The what? The bagger. Mmm. Okay, anyway, that's okay. Let's get into those questions. So, I have my phone here, and we're going to do some questions from Instagram because the people ask me the questions on Instagram. All right, so I'm not gonna say who asked me the questions, you know, in case. The peoples don't want to be uh, named. So the first question is, which iPhone are you using? Okay, so the iPhone that I'm using to film right now is a iPhone 11. That's the phone I'm currently using. Before in my previous video, I was either using my Samsung or my Huawei. But now since quality, you know, iPhone. That's what I'm using. Second question. Usbari Ukona. You know where the danger is. You know where the danger is. <laughs> Mm. 
when you feel like life it will not just know it's going down that's my answer to that question it's going down the other question is how's the text how's the texas is the stipend you're getting enough what was it easy for you to make friends okay so how's texas texas is nice texas is very it's like it's it's a very nice place it's got very nice places to go to to go hang out with your friends to go and chill like just to enjoy enjoy yourself it is very nice the only thing is if you like me and you hate you absolutely hate heat it's not for you this place is not for you because it is hot it is hot here guys there's pictures of there's a picture on my instagram i'm wearing shorts i don't wear shorts i don't like shorts but texas has made me into that person that wears shorts because it is hot here in texas it's very hot um is the stipend you're getting enough so the stipend of an au pair the a normal au pair stipend is a hundred is 195 pounds the pounds is 195 dollars and 75 cents that's how much a au pair is supposed to be getting i will just say this i don't get that amount of money i get more and yeah is it enough as an au pair because you're not paying rent you are um not having to pay for food you are not having to pay for um bills or anything of that sort the only thing you're doing is going out and chilling and all this um with the amount that i get i think it would be enough if I didn't do some of the things that guys I for some people the money would be enough for some people the money wouldn't be enough because that money goes like like that like you look at yourself like okay I'm gonna do this 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 with my money the following week comes and you just like where did my money go <laughs> guys you you just ask us where did my money go like yay that's all i'm gonna say i'm not gonna say how much i get but i can tell you guys that there's au pairs out there whose host families don't mind paying more than the minimum of 195 dollars and 75 cents and that my my family is part of that some uh au pairs get 200 uh which is usually the average that they uh do here which is most Au pairs get the two hundred dollars because I feel like oh the parents are just like one hundred and ninety five seventy five might as well round it up but yeah I also don't get the two hundred I'm not gonna say how much I get so then you just know just know it's, yeah okay and then was it easy for you to make friends guys being an au pair in America from South Africa from Ni wherever wherever you are. It is easy to make friends. Mm. And the best way to make friends is to go on Instagram. Instagram is the hotspot for au pairs looking for friends. Some people will say, oh, download Bumble um, and make friends on Bumble. You'll be able to get friends there and so forth. The best for me is Instagram is instagram as well as um your cluster meetings so if you come here with an agency join those go on those cluster meetings and you'll make friends that's that that's how it was easy for me to make anyway um next what challenges have you faced and how did you overcome them child guys i was those people who said i'm never gonna have a uh, homesickness Who was I playing? Hey! 
I have homesickness, guys. Especially when you see your friends and family doing something on Instagram, Facebook, and WhatsApp, and they're posting each other, and it's nandim nandi. It's just like, but enjoy life, ningeko. And then when I tell them, it's like, but you in America, why, guys? Homesickness is real. You hear me? Homesickness is real. How did I overcome homesickness? I call whenever I'm feeling like I miss my family, or I miss someone. I call them. I called Busi today. She didn't answer. It was like a stab to the heart. I wanted to cry, but I held myself. Cause I was like, girl, you made this choice to become an au pair. So you live with it, you know, you know? And the next question is, we are Chola. Hey, man, to guys. It's going down. <laughs> you know the danger is. Hell. <laughs> Good rough. <laughs> That's all I was saying. Wa niwa. Next question. How are your finances looking? Are you saving? Are you coming back anytime soon? Okay. So how my finances are looking? My finances are in the gutter. That's what I'll say. My finances are in the gutter because the only reason that is is because before I left South Africa, I had lots i have lots of debts not in the sense of um you know debts as in oh but that is no so i have i have i have to pay for stock fail stuff like that um i have to pay for rent guys don't ask me why i'm paying rent just mind your own okay don't ask me those questions just know i'm paying rent ne don't ask questions don't um i'm also paying i have to finish my mr price account paying my mr price account um don't open a mr price account it's a scam <laughs> it's a scam that's all i'm gonna say don't and i'm almost done so yeah because when i was coming to the side i I got a lot of clothes from Mr. Price. That's what I'll say. But yeah, so I would say my finances would be looking better. I do have money in my South African account, but my finances would look way better. And I feel like saving right now is out of the question. It is my first year, so I want to travel. I want to do a lot of things. So my, tr my savings right now won't look that good. But next year my savings will be in order because i have a lot of plans for 2024 when i go back home i have a lot of plans so i'm gonna be saving and on top of that some people don't know this but i have a car that i have to maintain boo -boo. so service is not easy you know that's what i'll say um mm-hmm then the next question is would you recommend your peers to go into the industry you currently in so i'm currently an au pair for people who didn't know i'm an au pair living in the usa and if you want to be an au pair i honestly have to tell you you have to be strong yeah you have to have to be strong <laughs> this is not for the weak it is not for the faint-hearted guys i'm telling you right now it is not for the weak if you want to be an au pair you need to honestly be strong because there's a lot that goes into au pairing mm -hmm. 
So I would say, be an au pair if you trust yourself. If you trust your, men your mental and you trust your heart, you can be an au pair. But guys, there's multiple ways that you can be in another country without having to au pair. I'm not going to talk about them because me, myself, I don't know them well. But I just know that there's other ways. Uh, especially even if you're joining um, like these agencies, not only au pair in America, but like OBC and things like that. They have different ways for you to come to different countries. So with America, you can be like a camp counselor and it's not even for a whole year like au pairing or a whole two years like au pairing. It's only for a few a few months which is like kind of like when it's summer break and the kids are going to camp and you just become a camp counselor and things like that or you can do cruise pictures and things it's a lot you guys can just check out like the websites and everything and you should be able to find out other ways you know and there's a lot of other people who are posting different things on YouTube as to how to get to another country you know with not only just au pairing okay so do your research babes i don't mind answering a few questions as well if you have any questions for me you can dm me it's okay but yeah i if you trust your mental and if you trust your um yourself to be strong and you can speak for yourself then boo boo come on over you can be an au pair mm. So she asked me what motivates you to work hard one word what motivates me to work hard one word travel since I've since I was a child guys I've always wanted to travel I've always always wanted to see the world I've always wanted to be able to like when I'm speaking to someone I'm like oh yeah I've been there yeah 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 have you been to oh cool yeah yeah uh-huh um uh, I you know I want to be able to tell people oh yeah I've been to like six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve ten fourteen different countries you know like I just want to be that I want to be that girl you know like oh have you been to uh, yeah I've been to Australia yeah i've been to the never yeah i've been to you know i just want to be able to travel the world and that's what keeps motivating me to work harder because i want to be that girl i want to be that girl that that girl and that's on period you know that independent boss ass girl yeah um next question was what is your biggest complaint about your job my biggest complaint about my job would be living in the same house as where you work. Guys, if you're working with kids as cute as mine, if you're working with host kids as cute as my host kids, it's hard to not go like once in a while to go take the baby hold the baby and be like oh. you know like it's like and then there's also those times where you you off but you still in it's like you kind of still at work because you stay where you work you know that would be the complaint of mine but it's not that huge of a it's just that me i have worked before so I knew the, 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 the like how it would feel to go home after work and then come back to work. Like be really detached, like separated from work. And then you come back to work the next day. But so with me, it's like when you're an au pair, you're just in the house the whole time. <laughs> you, you're in your workplace every day of every hour. This room, my room, is like my sacred place. It's like my space. When you're an au pair, your room is like your your space. Like no one can do anything in your room without your permission. It's like your place. 
like you know so yeah that's what i would say staying in the same house mm -hmm. um next one what is your proudest accomplishment i don't know if it's just if, if if the question is based according to since being an au pair or in life in general because if it's in life like in general my biggest accomplishment would have to be my car yeah 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 that would be that would be my biggest accomplishment but since being an au pair what i would say my biggest accomplishment is would be uh it hasn't yet happened it hasn't yet happened it's going to happen soon but it would be living my dream and traveling to more than four countries because so far i've been to lesotho swaziland south africa the usa and next month i'll be going to mexico so it will be five i understand i stay in south africa and i was born in swaziland but i'm still counting them uh another question would be where do you see yourself in five years traveling yeah traveling that's where i see myself in five years traveling and if i'm not traveling i'll uh, i'll see myself not in south africa that's where i see myself where do you see yourself in the next five not in south africa <laughs> yes and that's on period okay you best know it mm -hmm. not in south africa mm -hmm. okay next question now what can you do after being an au pair again guys there's so much that you can do after being an au pair if you want to stay in the usa you can study in the usa i know libone libone uh, m does uh help out when you do wanna be a uh student in the usa she helps out so if you want to stay in the usa you can be like um that or you can be a nanny in the country through a, a sponsor of your host parents if your host parents now re like request you to stay and work with them still um you can be a nanny you can also work in the nursing industry there's a lot of things you can do if you still want to stay in the usa but if you don't want to stay in the usa you can um work on a cruise or a yacht you can there is so much you can do because think about it you making all this money means you have the money to actually work out what is your next plan my next plan boo boo i'm gonna let you guys know what my next plan is when the time is right you know we don't want some some trolls i'll let you guys know what my next plan is when the time is right okay um what is this okay i don't like the burnt pieces uh so there's a lot of things you can be after being an au pair a lot like a lot the question is how will being an au pair help you in the future so how au pairing for me will help in the future in my perspective like the way i see it would be it would help you in a sense of if you are someone who's looking into going into becoming an educator for kids you would be able to see how different kids are considering you would have seen kids back home and now seeing how american kids are me being me as a, a person who was a sunday school teacher i have realized that um there's different ways to teach a child there's different um methods there's different like it's cool things that you wouldn't have known back home obviously you would have been able to google it but like seeing it from like your own eyes it's like okay cool you know but in a sense of if we're talking about it from within it helps you become independent it helps you become 
um, to actually realize yourself and want to know what do I want for my future because there's times in there's times when I'm sitting and I'm like what what do I want to do with my future like what am I gonna do um, the other question was what is your favorite part about being an au pair oh my gosh the my favorite favorite part about being an au pair is making friends and exploring different places for the first time with these friends that are also experiencing things for the first time you know so that's just that's just amazing and on top of that you got i got cute kids adorable kids that um it's just like so cool it's like oh my god y'all are just so cute oh my god you know like you know for the people who know how my host kids look they are adorable freaking adorable yeah mm -hmm. last question last but not least what are the advantages of working as an au pair mm. so the advantages of working as an au pair is you are exposed to different cultures you are exposed to um different career paths okay so the last question says what are the advantages of being an au pair so the advantages for me of being an au pair would be if you are saving right it would be the money <laughs> you like if you're planning on going back home and doing something um different it would give you a very good amount of capital if you are planning on going back home so sending the money and converting it into your south african account it would use as good capital and then um also it would be the advantage of you becoming the person that you want to become you know because at some point in my life i was just like Siba, what, what are you doing with your life you know like siba what are you doing with your life and i feel like i've cut i've gotten to that point where i've now like been like okay this is what i want to do with my life um and this is where i'm gonna go with my life and since being an au pair that has become even like it's 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 like that opportunity has been like it's now like oh that's definitely gonna happen oh yeah that's definitely gonna happen like yeah yeah and another thing of another advantage i would say is you get close to your family guys i've never been as close to some of my family members as i have now since um being in the usa i do understand some people will be like oh it's just because you're in the usa and now they're like you know oh she's gonna be making it's not even that it's not even that it's just you really realize how many people are actually behind you in your corner or whatever no matter how many mistakes you've made in your life or how many whatever's you've done you know it does you see how many people are actually behind you and are like you go on girl it's not necessarily we stabbing you in the back but it's more so oh go on like pushing you forward to do better you know so for me mainly it would be independence relationships with the family because it's like you 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 are far far away you're not taking advantage of the fact that oh she's just 20 minutes away oh she's just four hours away now you like a whole day away like <laughs> so that's what i would say um and that's it for the questions i'm just glad i received questions this time around guys Starting off a YouTube channel is not is not that easy. I've had my channel for years, but now I'm more so being consistent, creating bulk content, and I've realized it's 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 not easy. It's not easy. Like I'm taking it serious, so serious. Yeah, but it's not easy. But I'm just glad I received questions and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys like.
comment, subscribe, you know. Mm -hmm. Check out Zaga, guys. The Instagram link will be in the description box. My social media will be in the description box. So that you can follow, please. But I really enjoyed making this video. And this time around, I'm gonna get used, I'm gonna get better at making mukbangs. I'm telling you guys. tuning into the video today hope you guys have a lovely day lovely evening or whatever the time might be on your side of town but from me and my quarter of a beggar that's on period bye guys Thank you.